Well, good morning, everybody. On a pack hike again this morning. 120 pounds in the pack now. Fun, fun. Decided to wear an open top hat, a visor, because you get so hot doing this stuff. So, hope everyone's doing okay. I'm heading here, up that ridge. Good times, be safe. It always amazes me how once you get a pack dialed in, how I hesitate to use the word comfortable because it's never comfortable when you're carrying a lot of weight. But once you get a pack dialed in, it amazes me how doable it is. Right now, going up steep hill, wet moss, 120 pounds in the pack, actually 125, so I forgot to weigh the include the pack weight and uh, I mean it never feels good but it feels doable well one thing I have noticed is uh, taking a break here I definitely need a haircut <laughs> as probably a lot of you do you have to get it done at home but um, get out. that's where I came from down there, I'm going up there, working my, my way back to the car, but uh, get out and do something, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of fresh air, equals a strong immune system, so, yeah, all is quiet, not a plane in the sky, cheers folks. One thing I should probably mention for pack hiking or any type of hiking is a good set of trekking poles. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. These ones are Cascade Mountain Tech. They're aluminum, 7075 aluminum, Eastern aluminum. Uh, they do have the cork grip on the top and then they have the lower EVA grip, which you use when you're choking up on it. So when you're going up a hill, but yeah, these things will make your load feel, you know, three times lighter than it is in certain situations. And I mean, they are super valuable for, for uh, going downhills, going uphill, even even maintaining uh, cadence on a, on a flat stretch, they're helpful. It's like an extra set of legs, right? Kind of like a dog, you've got four points of contact instead of two. They've made night and day difference in my pack hiking. Like with the weight I'm up to now, there's no way that I could do that with uh, without a pair of trekking poles. So, there you go, get some. Should also mention the pack that I'm using is made by Alps Outdoors, a company out of the US. Um, this one's the Commander X Extreme. So, I don't have the bag on it. It's got a bag, a pack bag, that actually zippers and clips to the frame. Um, but then underneath is this, which is dedicated meat hauler. So it has a set of wing flaps that you put in, you strap your load down tight, and you can get it really tight. And then the bottom section comes up and it uh, cradles it and zips it up again. So, you know, everything's really tight. And once you get it dialed in, I mean, nice thing is you can use it with the bag on it when you're taking your, you know, you're backpacking into your hunt site. And then um, the bag has a little dedicated day pack thing that pops off. You can strap it to the meat frame, you know, head out, light everything you need for the day. And if you do happen to get an animal down, your first trip back to camp can be with uh, with a quarter or whatever you're hunting. So that's kind of cool. 
That's why I wanted it was for that versatility. And at first I didn't like it, but once I got it dialed in and fit for me, it is actually a really good pack frame. So we'll see how, how it is for some backpacking trips this summer. Hopefully Colorado in September for elk. But uh, yeah, it's the Alps Commander Extreme. And uh, I've been impressed so far. I mean, it's handled every load I put on it. 25 today so we'll see where it tops out cheers stay safe so i've been training for the past two months for a backpack elk hunt in colorado and basically i decided the only way to get in shape for carrying a heavy pack is to carry a heavy pack now i don't we don't have the altitude or the hills that Colorado has, but at least I'm building a base. Um, I do hit every hill I can find along this ridge line. So, you know, they're short, steep, and sweet. Not. Anyway, yeah, so that's ooh, prickly ash. Hate this stuff. Native to our county, Leeds and Grenville. Terrible stuff shoot a deer that's exactly where they run um so yeah so that some trail running some body weight workouts squats some other stuff i've been watching what i eat mostly and uh i can feel it i'll be 55 this summer but i think i'm almost in the best cardio shape of my life so hopefully uh ready come September hopefully we're allowed so get out there work out the only way to get used to a heavy pack is carry a heavy pack peace